Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the. Oh. Uh, yeah. Can we cut to the Y? Hey guys, welcome to the Hypothetical Thought Says Podcast. Today we talk about oh, we talk about <laughs> Donald Trump. We talk about trash valet. We talked about ABA speech therapy. We talked about what's happening, which is important. And we talked about we talked about inferring spatial uh, moments in temporal. In Welcome to Hypothetical Nonsense. No. Oh. Ooh, can we keep the shit. lighting exactly like yeah. this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this show is produced by a company that was recently dissolved. Yes. Well, produced well, tell is that to a strong the 3, word. 3,000 people behind the cameras. Produced is a strong word. Produced is they a strong just word. I would say owned. We have, Yeah. Owned and produced and operated, compl operated yeah. completely. All of the resources. <laughs> Ever, all of the, and the resources are extensive. Like right. we're joking about there not being a crew here today. Look but, at, put, cut to the other camera But again. there's so much. See, all, all, that's like. Stuff. Thousands and thousands of dollars of camera equipment. Tens of the hundreds Tens of thousands of, thousands of dollars. I don't even know camera. what half of them fucking cables do. Yeah. Yes. So so this is a. These aren't ours. No, none of it's I ours. I don't know why that little TV right there is. Why, who looks at that? You see this camera that's attached to the ceiling that's moving around Hi. right now? Somebody Hi. is operating that. There's also another one all the way up top. Fisher, take it up top to the top time. Ah! What the fuck? So this is just to say that, you know, this is a pretty mean, not lean operation that n is no longer going to function or exist in the next 60 days. Yes. So, and we... But uh, the problem, the issue with that is... Yeah. The three of us are still going to exist. Like, as the people. company is... As individuals. Yeah. Yes. And we're not dying. No. We're not. We're not being shut down. I don't have plans as of yet, but we never know what brings tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, Yes. Elaborate. Um, you never you you're only alive as Elaborate. far as you are alive right now at this moment, but you never know what can come next. Elaborate what? in a way that isn't like an ominous metaphor, or I guess that wasn't really a metaphor. Carpe diem. You're alive now, but accidents happen. So you print. That was actually less clear. That was less clear. I could die at any moment. Okay. Awesome. That was that was pretty straightforward. Got it. The fact um, that it took so long for you to. No, I think we got that. Yeah. I think we just wanted that first. If you had to fucking die right now, what would be the quickest way? Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If something fell on me? From maybe? where? What no, right. But so, no, what, I mean, what if I had something? like an, I feel like if I had a heart attack, you know, or an aneurysm. And a heart attack, I feel like, yeah, a heart attack would take like a few minutes, right? I don't know. How long do heart attacks I'm take? Not, I'm not a doctor. A few for your heart to completely stop because people have heart attacks and then make and it then to the alive. hospital, right? Yeah, and then survive. And then survive. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So maybe not a heart attack then. Maybe something yeah. else then. Maybe your brain, once Any that idea. blood is gone, it's gone. Any ideas? Is this not a, a tickling no, trash maybe, question? Maybe, maybe I maybe I choke on my own saliva. That's a good. That's that's gonna saliva, take a while. That's gonna take a while. No, no. I think I think it's quicker than any other. Thing that no, we I would disagree. I think there's other quicker ways to die, but the point is, is that we're not dead. We're still. Did, that's the point. <laughs> the point is that we're, <laughs> that's the point. The point, the point is the that the, com point. the company is 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 has, has <clears throat> ceased to exist. To exist, and yet we continue on. Yeah, we're gonna try to find ways to continue. We're gonna see what happens. I don't think we want to quit. As a unit with with just the momentum that we have and all the things that we've built and and stuff like that So I think that we are exploring All of the options. Yes, every that option. we have because there are there are a few options that um, Are in the works. We can't go into we, any specifics. No, yeah, whatsoever. we have no idea like what we really just And I'm here And, well, Ca and Caroline's s Sleepy yeah, carpet D's nuts with because you never know which nut is gonna explode because you're only alive once. Um, key out I like how Sammy wait, go to Caroline. You guys are kind of more in the black void than than me. So like if anyone wants to like Luma key them out, 
and put them somewhere. This is kind of acting as a green screen. What? They could put what? Oh, oh, oh! They I see a luma key, key. Yeah, out yeah, the yeah, background. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Chroma key as well, even perhaps. Well, what? Or wait. ultra key actually. You but can ultra use black for ultra key. Yes. Oh. Yeah, but then. It's not great. I don't use Premiere. But if I actually. if I click if I use the ultra key and I click that black, it's gonna get stuff from my hair and like the shadow. A too. No, no, the light is hitting your hair pretty well. I think that maybe the glasses might be an issue. And I feel like, what I feel like are we talking? This is like a purely visual. There's definitely some. There's definitely some gag. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're well. right. All our editors. I'm out so there. fucking hot right now. I'm on the verge of tears. As this usual. was not a. This is. All right, all you jacket truthers, you're right. This is bullshit. You're still wearing a jacket. It's actually a it's cloak. It's a robe. It's actually a satchel. Mm. It's not a purse. So, so I fucking. So, what are we doing after this? I, I'm curious. Um, just I think uh, just talking about creative, for because we're still filming filming videos though. We can say that Rooster Teeth still has about when you're watching this a month left of operation. Correct. The, the Rooster Teeth does have a 60, has had from when it was announced a 60 day shutdown period. That was announced on the live stream. That was announced on the live stream. <clears throat> yes. So um, I think there's about like, uh, when you see this, when, when are we posting this? Is that uh, the next week? There's going to the be after? Uh, maybe the week after. Okay. So next week's going to be our guest episode. Our guest episode, also on the main stage. Yes. So they, we're going to establish this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter We're anymore. Just establish this pattern. Everyone's gonna be attached to the main stage, and then people are gonna be like, "Keep hypothetical nonsense in the main stage." Yes, but then the main stage is going to be sold. Not if we can rent it ourselves. Right. But all of this is hypothetical because this is hypothetical nonsense, and, and everything is everything fake, and is nothing fake. is real. We actually because have no we, options. We have. Or wait, we, that's fake because everything is fake and nothing's real. Let's talk about okay. We've we've got that out of the way. We've we've got our I'm so checked out. We've got that out of the way. We've got our announcements out of the way. It, to summarize, we don't fucking know, but we want to keep going. Um, um we actually I, I do I do want to say I think we had more of a plan or more of a structured announcement for everyone in our audience, but we were we were given advice to just keep everything on the DL. Yes, because we we Unfortunately, don't have a lot of information no, yeah. no. about a lot of things. So. I just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify in case people were like, "That's unclear what you guys are saying. What the fuck is happening?" Yeah, it it has, we, we it really has do to not. Know. It has to be we unclear, no and also idea. a lot of stuff is just unclear. Yeah, there's no us. right. There's no answer. Yeah, we also it was it was a yeah we didn't have time to prepare as well because it was kind of a, it was kind of a surprise for everyone for everyone. Yeah, so we had well. no idea. Yeah, we actually knew three months before. Nope. Which is I knew I knew nonsense. when I got here. I had a feeling. <laughs> All right. I think everyone has said that when they got to Rooster Teeth for like every year of, of Rooster Teeth. Um, Okay. I wanted to pitch something to you guys while we're still here, though. Uh huh. If I put your feet down to the side, those classic Caroline Stompers, classic <laughs> the Jesus ones. How fives. long have you had those? Um, I probably since I was like 15. The, really? Naz the Nazareth collection. Yeah, these are about five years old. No, yeah, no, they're probably about five years old. Maybe more than that. Actually. Do you need to clean the insides of your shoes ever? Yeah. Do you you've cleaned those? Yeah. Because <laughs> I used to go hiking with them. I've worn the actually in the mud. I've worn the same pair of black Giano's shoes, which is um basically <clears throat> Converse has been um. <laughs> Sending me some shoes for the past few years. Shout out Converse because they've been sending me free shoes since like 2020, 2020. and they sent me these pair of this pair of black Giannos four years ago, and I've ever and I've asked for the same pair of them back every like eight months, and they've sent me the same pair like probably five or six times. I've ra I've probably ran through like six or seven pairs of the same exact black pair of black Giannos and I don't I think it's more because I'm too lazy to to style to figure out like how to style shoes with every outfit yeah and those go with no I won't say every outfit that I wear because <laughs> there's definitely sometimes it's like really you're wearing those black fucking Giannos with this fucking outfit but they go with a lot of outfits that I wear but today I they sent me they said that they don't have them anymore <gasps> so um they sent me some other shoes 
and I'm still going to wear the black Giannos, but I'm wearing a different pair of shoes, probably for the first time that anyone's wow. ever seen in their Converse. Ugh, and they're white. I feel like shoes are... It's already so hard as it is to like style yourself. Yeah. And to have an extra financial obligation of having 10, 20 yeah. shoes. Shoes I, are expensive. It's easy to get like a bunch of shirts or a bunch yeah, of pants. You go to Goodwill, you can just grab them. You I take when, them, put them in your pocket, walk out. Not, no. Mm -mm. So when I have all these different types of things, these different shirts, these different pants, and I got like two pairs of shoes, I feel obligated to buy more shoes, but I don't got the money in the budget to buy more shoes. Yeah, that's real. And also, shoes get fucked so like they shoes are very durable but at some point the shoes get fucked up and it's like now i gotta spend two hundred dollars on some nice shoes <clears throat> some, but then a I, nice pair of shoes but if if i want some affordable shoes you get the 40 dollars shoes those shits fucking crumple and dis disintegrate you gotta get in a Sha week you know Shaq has a shoe brand new balance shout out walmart or not new balance Shaq balance it's at <laughs> it's at walmart i know that for certain yeah. Is that Walmart? I don't know what his brand is called. Like Shack Attack or Shack Shoes. Shack Attack? Shakus. Shakus? Yeah, Shakus. Like, like Shaq. Yacoub? Shakus. No, not Yakub. Nope, not Yakub. So let's, on a lighter note, I'm not an elephant anymore. You're a whale. Damn. Shamu. Speaking of cookies. We were never talking about cookies. This episode is sponsored by Trader Joe's. I want every. So I. I Wait. You okay? Yeah. What? These are the vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies with coconut. I want everybody to try these. They're so good. I got these like maybe two, three years ago for the first time and I tried them. And I, it was like in, in the scene in Ratatouille where he eats the Ratatouille and then he's transported back to a child. I, I didn't get to that degree, but I was transported back like 30 seconds before to where I didn't have the cookies. And then I walk and I get the cookies. And then I go back into the world where I, I did get the cookies. They're they're that tasty. Yummy. So, you know, I, you know, I also had a dream a few uh, like a month ago that um they were that they were doing ultrasounds at the Oklahoma, Oklahoma border. Um and that's why <laughs> that's why I, I made up this whole like um, What does that mean? Huh? You said that before. They're doing ultrasounds at the Oklahoma border? Right. Because abortion is illegal in Texas, right. so to prevent people from getting abortions out of the state, they're yeah. doing, the they're ultra doing ultrasounds at, at, the at, the, at the border of Oklahoma. Is it right. that easy to like set up like a pop up <laughs> ultrasound? Yeah. To pop up you ultrasound. Were, you, you were actually having thing. a dream about that. Um, I well, I had a dream that I thought of that, so I guess I just thought of it. If you had you a dream that you thought of it in the dream. <laughs> yeah, because I was because I because there was a situation where I was thinking about abortions or something in the dream. Or I've been like frightened an abortion about was it. happening. I've been frightened about it since I've been in Texas. Yeah, that's I've, the, I've been having to look into options thing. and like like finding, especially in Austin, like looking at OBGYNs because I, I plan on like have like having a, a doctor. Here. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, like how they're like, guys, we're here and we support you, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh. No. If that, if it's in, if it's in you, that's it's it's gonna come out of you. But even beyond even beyond that, even just like Alive. Normal, like birth control stuff, like with with the OBGYN, I just don't trust the doc. I don't trust a lot of doctors anymore when it comes to pain management, and and that they they understand like the emotional ramifications of getting birth control. Mm. Sorry, since you mentioned it, I just thought it was interesting. I've been no, thinking about this a lot recently. Where yeah. I'm like, do you know how fucking crazy it is? Yeah, it does like cra like the side effects. I mean, a, a lot of medif medifications have a, a medification of of side effects, but um, well, birth like, control but specifically. Even, even doing like an IUD, like the fact that they like open you up. Yeah, and they're like, sorry about it, champ. No, a, a they treat you like a car. Implant. They stick a piece of plastic, or I don't know if it's plastic. Yeah, I mean, a like the, the all the stuff it, like has long term effects, but even the procedure in and of itself can be like really, really, really problematic. And the doc, yeah. I don't think a lot of, I don't know. I mean, a lot of them do. Of course, they know, but they do it so frequently that at a certain point they become desensitized. I'm like, I don't want, I don't want anyone treating me like a car. Yeah, yeah, but and also, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say I, my question. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> I guess my question back was to the was like nonsense podcast. Um, uh -huh. if you go to a doctor mm -hmm. searching for birth control, yeah. like, yeah. do they tell you all of the yeah. side effects and? Oh no, they don't. Sometimes they will. Th you can ask like a doctor, like, "Oh, well," because I've I've been to a Planned Parenthood before, and I was like, "Well, this form of birth control, 
cause me to gain weight? And they'll be like, no, 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 it doesn't cause people to gain oh, weight. Oh, they'll, so they'll say they'll, actively no. They'll say no, but a doctor, another doctor, like maybe your 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 consistent treating physician would be like, well, yeah, you can, when you have like an influx of estrogen in your body, you might crave food more and then you will gain weight as a result of wanting to, uh, being yeah. less satiated. Yeah. And, but, but they won't give you that information. Like in general, like the, the women's health thing is ju just like any, any health so, that so the, isn't the sta <clears throat> Western standard, so, Eurocentric Western so standard. So the doctors are saying the side effects. It's just like the no, lady at the Planned Parenthood isn't. It depends on where you go. That's kind of the problem. Is like if I go if I go to the Planned Parenthood where I would get my birth control from, and they're not giving me the information that I would need, then I'm like, oh. Are they are yeah. they able to prescribe birth control, or do you need a doctor's like note in order to get prescribed birth control? For Planned Parenthood? Yeah. Could, like, could I, I, could I actually think it depends on the state that you're in now. Interesting. Yeah. Because <clears throat> then I guess it would be the doctor's, like, job to, like, warn you about the birth control and then and then you'd go to Planned Parenthood. They just give you it. To give you it. Because <laughs> you, you can't add do the pre. both, you know? So you can go into a Planned Parenthood and just get birth control? I think it depends. I do think it depends on the state that you're in now. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. I also yeah. don't know how it works. Like, in my head, I don't know why. This might be such bullshit. I'm probably about to stupid. I'm stupid as hell. But, um, and I can't speak either. Um, <laughs> it's like the <laughs> baby is operating you. <laughs> like I, I, I think I might need to go to, like, speech therapy or something. Because, like, this is the first time that I've really, like, like, actually ha having a podcast makes me realize how um, difficult it is for me to, like, form sometimes, like, long sentences in like a conversation you just did that flawlessly thank you um i don't think that's a speech joining therapy us today thing. Oh. joining us today I joining us today speech is... therapy thing right but you the, the verbal intelligence is like a there's like an area of honestly i don't believe in like categorizing intelligence but technically yeah you can't you depending and actually it depends on men it is just, <laughs> what it isn't i just yeah, i don't want i don't want to i don't want to get the yapping <laughs> accusations i just say that verbal intelligence is like a is a separate thing and some people can like depending on the the size of your the front of your brain you can be better at forming sentences and having a, a better with what i want to say this is a podcast where we talk for two hours no I disagree. This is a podcast where we <laughs> I, talk. I what do you mean? I, I didn't yeah. make a point. Fade it out, please. I didn't out, make please. a point. I said, it out. I said no, this is a podcast where we talk for but, two hours. Yeah. Is it not? Why do you, yeah. How do you disagree with that? It's a, So uh, it's a podcast where we talk for two hours. Are you saying that I shouldn't be afraid to yap? I'm saying that like we're going to talk. Mm -hmm. like, like talking for two or three minutes about a subject isn't yapping i think that the line of what is yapping what isn't yet because you stopped yourself like after talking for like five seconds I'm s there are certain subjects that i'm afraid to talk about more like there are certain things where i'm like oh i can talk about this for a while and it's not gonna be annoying but if we're gonna start talking about like the differences and like verbal intelligence as it relates to like sex the research on that is like pretty old and outdated and just the way that we conceptualize intelligence in general is really archaic so it's like it's something that's interesting to talk about yeah but it's not necessarily worth talking about it and i know that that's a subject i can talk a lot about if i don't get stopped and i know that that's that subject in particular when you start to go and talk about it it's like why is this bitch talking about this? Well, but also, I'd rather us like be able to talk about things that you find interesting rather than like. Well, well, you know, yeah. But why do you? But you stop yourself. I feel like from, I, like I, anytime there's like an interesting topic that you actually because you were like the oh. whole the whole like first half of the podcast you're like oh like I'm I'm checked out because we're kind of talking about bullshit you know but then it's like if we find an interesting topic and I feel like we let's talk about it. <clears throat> speech therapy speech therapy is normally like well no you can have speech impediment which can be cognitive and then you do cbt why are you so you know? quiet because i'm trying to think about like the actual thing that we were talking about that was interesting oh speech yeah therapy but sometimes you just might be bad at bad bad at talking sometimes you're just not great but wouldn't at talking. speech therapy help that yeah yeah maybe maybe just like slowing down or slowing down like maybe it's like an add thing just like my brain is moving faster than my than my mouth can keep up with or like then i can form yeah, there, sentences there's like or a something. whole host of things that might keep someone from being able to articulate themselves it could be adhd 
right? And if you have you ever taken a stimulant before? Yeah. Are you able to speak? Um, that I was never really paying attention to that. I was more paying attention to my productivity than like any anything verbal. Right. I was paying attention to like if I could like get my. I took it. I well, I took Adderall like. I was prescribed Adderall, sure. and I took it um, before the before I was prescribed. I took it before the SAT, and yeah. my score was higher than the PSAT. So sure. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> you just studied. <laughs> no, I didn't. There's or maybe also I did. anxiety that can cause a speech impediment, um, and you know, with ABA at least, I'm not exactly sure what you do in speech therapy as because they'll do probably do CBT, but with ABA at least, like the they'll make you like stop. What are you trying to say? What is it that you're trying? What do you need to say? And then there's like a whole bunch of other things. They used to make people put marbles in their mouths to get them to stop having a stutter, which is just crazy. what. But, but wouldn't going to a professional like wouldn't they figure out what the best course of action would be for? Yeah, and I'm not like, a professional. He'd have to go to a professional. Wait, what? What? Well, no, you you said you said speech therapy probably wouldn't wouldn't help you. But well, that's it, well. There's different types of professionals, yeah, right? That's like, what I mean. No, no, no. I, I maybe, maybe I said that. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to like broad spectrum it. I think it's like knowing will. I'm kind of like, oh, I, yeah, maybe a speech therapy. Because in my mind, when I think of speech therapy, my sister went to speech therapy because she's deaf, and so speech therapy to me is like a, like it's an auditory thing, and it's not. Speech therapy can be like a cognitive thing, and and I forget that. So yeah, you probably would go to a, I guess a speech therapist. I, yeah, I suppose a speech therapist. But then I'm also thinking like there's ABA. And ABA is for people with autism, which is very controversial form of treatment, but it can be effective. So interesting, all very interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I saw, uh, um, oh, wow. I can't say this. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. I can't because I actually I have pure intentions. I, I have pure intentions. Um, so I saw a video of, of, a, uh, of a woman um, with Down syndrome who had a thick, like, valley girl accent madison i know that that's like a contra because she had to go through a lot of like speech therapy to yeah um is that similar in controversy to the aba thing or like Pro someone would probably liken it to that aba is applied behavioral analysis and and it's essentially like dog pavlov training children to like acquire very specific like set like behaviors so it's sort of like hi how are you Good, you said that good. Oh. But they don't really mean it. You're not really learning how to communicate. You're just learning to appear as though you know how to communicate. That That's like the broad, overall, like overarching mm. thing. But ABA can also be helpful if you're someone that um, cannot function very well and like say, uh, you know, you need to get to the bus and you kind of freak out when the schedule gets fucked up. ABA can help you like kind of manage your anxiety systems in a very systematic way. Um, like kind of helping someone manage a, a chaotic world by giving them like set instructions and it can be kind of intense like it is it is a lot like dog yeah. training so that's why people don't like it but yeah no and you could say that like giving or, or having someone with down syndrome go to speech therapy so that they don't necessarily have because you know the palate's different when you have that um try somebody 21 yeah. your mouth is someone might say like oh that's bad you're denying or whatever but i i think you know she seems to she seems to be a really uh you know competent performer she seems to be like a really nice actress and i think that probably having that speech therapy helped her career a lot and as long as she's yeah. happy and satisfied god bless her i always i always worry that there's exploitation oh no i'm still like i'm still working on especially it especially with fucking tiktok there's a lot of you can see a lot of exploitation in people that have you know genetic or intellectual developmental disabilities where it's kind of just like let's put them on camera and see what fucking happens but then i'm kind of like that's what a lot of that's what all, everything is a lot of it a lot of stuff mm. is exploitation in that regard so it's just as long as people are taken care of and they're happy and they're not being hurt then i think it's okay but there is a little bit of like a that all makes that makes weird. sense to me my original point um like f five or ten minutes ago um when we were talking about birth control I was gonna say that. Oh, I was gonna say that I I don't know what I'm talking about, and I have no idea if this is true. But I thought for a while that birth control, like hormonal birth control, was like convincing or tricking your brain into believing that you're pregnant, and that's why you would that's why you couldn't get pregnant. But you're I don't like know if that's how it works. Placebo pills? Huh? You're taking like placebo <laughs> pills that are like. <laughs> I think they, you. they do have placebo, like, <laughs> like all like yeah. the placebo pills yeah. in your, and when you take the pill. Like, but oh, like I'm literally pregnant. all of the I'm pills, control, so. all of the pills are like, you're taking the pills to pills. trick you into yeah, thinking yeah. that 
mm, my body's not gonna be pregnant <laughs> that your brain is like talking to like your uterus it's like don't <laughs> let anybody in dude. i'm already pregnant <laughs> you idiot yeah you know what's really frightening now that you mention that because i'm thinking about it because i've been doing a lot of research now on birth control looking at the fucking uh hormonal iud's and seeing doctors don't know exactly how it prevents you from getting pregnant but it does work really? and every fucking medication i've ever taken in my entire life has just said we don't know why it works but it certainly does like lithium that's all over if you've ever taken like lithium carbonate it's like guys we've been doing this since the turn of the century and but how uh, did they just fucking like trial and error it then? yeah no, i mean like we're just like uh, it, let's try different because lithium yeah. is an element right it's a salt <laughs> yeah Lit, like let's try let's give them some some yeah. fucking boron and yeah. see what happens no i mean it started because if you think about it, a lot of a lot of um no sammy come back alchemy sammy quit. alchemy was a big thing uh before pharmacology people were just fucking around with the elements but pharmacology up but phlegm. with the uh 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 with the uh uh, uh 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 oh no but think about it like viagra was a pill and when they were testing it it was the pill was initially designed to help people with like heart conditions like with their blood pressure and the side effect of this like blood pressure his penis medication is getting hard was that his penis yeah. would get hard for so yeah. long and then they were like wait a minute we so should just turn long. this into a different pill altogether so it's like it is literally just like let's fucking see what happens interesting and so they, with like a hormonal iud they're kind of like well Part of it is that the hormones are doing the thing that it's supposed to do, but then also when the sperm gets in there, there's a little thing that's like, uh, uh, uh. And so we think a, a combination. Like, combination. like a cervical <laughs> mucus bouncer. Yeah, you can't get in here. <laughs> He's like viscous. He's like, <laughs> but he has sunglasses. You can't get in here, buddy. Turn yeah. around. <laughs> oh, he snapped my sperm friend in half. <laughs> so they're kind of like, it's a combination of these things we assume will probably, you won't get. Listen, nothing's coming out of there. Don't worry about it. It but works, yeah. it works. Bro. We're lucky that we're born here and not born like 1920 when they were testing that shit initially. Yeah, yeah. Like, here's some, here's some graphifrium. Yeah. Just put it up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> now it's 2020, what, 2022? Yeah, but they were like, they were doing we're, we're, Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, this isn't coming out till 2024. 2024? Probably oh. around March something, right? Yeah, I think we just wrapped February. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're actually two years ahead. So even if because <laughs> okay. we're shutting down, yeah, it doesn't matter for the next couple of years. Well, we can talk about like some topical stuff. Yeah, so yeah, Donald yeah, yeah. Trump just won, and Hillary just suffered a really that was, embarrassing. That was a couple, wow, that was, a couple, are, that was yeah. six years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh my bad. <laughs> what? It's 2022. I can't oh, think of a. What? Oh, oh no, it's not. Uh, this the is COVID, the pandemic's over. The COVID vaccine. It's like pretty good right now. Oh fuck no! Josh, what happened? in Twenty twenty two was pretty. Boring. Josh Broden. Who has the won. fuck is Josh Broden? James Bogdan. James Bogdan. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, Joe. Joe. Joe Bingus. Mama. Joe Biden won the election against Hill. No. What? Well, I'm sorry. McCain. Yeah, John yep, McCain. John McCain. And also Mitt Romney came into the race. Like John Mitt Cena. Romney? Like John Cena Why in the Royal Rumble. Why is there an angle sticking my finger in this? <laughs> <laughs> For the audio listeners. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> For the audio listeners. It being 2019 what? is so that was fun. That the hole that you were just. Yeah. <sighs> What's topical right now? Oh, I the, can't think no, of a let's single not do thing that happened in 2022. The Princess of Cambridge? No, let's Prince, not do... Princess just photoshopped... It's not Princess of Cambridge. Kim, what is princess it? of Cambridge? What is she? The princess... The queen... The princess of Middleton. Oh, what? <laughs> no, no. Her yeah. last Kate, name is Middleton. Kate no, Middleton. That's, that's why it's Kate Middleton. Kate She's Middleton. Princess of Middleton. And uh, Charles Schwab is the president of did Schwab. Did not know how to use the stamp tool on Photoshop correctly. How do you... How do you fuck up that bad like, I, need, I don't care i don't care how bad you are at photoshop you have eyes I don't you bitch I, sorry what the fuck you you're getting feral you're i'm getting angry crazy. i'm angry i want to say this about that photo yeah there have been people and i'm not like a photoshop expert yeah. but i've seen people say that her face was taken from another magazine which is absolutely not yeah. true yeah that photo has like lighting from the sun that's like backlit and the other photos like the sun like here there is no way they went in and fucking changed the lighting of that photo and then made it there's why no not 
Because that's no, not how it don't. works. Why not? That's, you can't do that. This is I think, AI has been pretty. Maybe it's okay. AI. Artificial intelligence has been pretty recently. This is such an interesting dialogue because this is exactly, I think, one of the, the biggest problems our culture faces today <laughs> is that you're like, this is reality. And Will's like, but maybe it's but not. Why, but what? It but could the thing be. Is that Will isn't, this is, this is the really troubling thing is that Will is wrong, but he's also not so wrong. It's like, why not? What if it is AI? We wouldn't know unless someone yes, confirmed we would. it. No, we wouldn't. Technology is pretty far. Say. A photograph. Yes, I think a no, photograph no, can yes, be manipulated to right. be anything. It's, the reality is, is that that is not the same photo, and it was just a simple fuck up, and nothing is going on. Nothing nefarious is going on. That's the reality. She's probably right. How do you know? But Will saying, it how do you be. know? Unless you open up the box to see open the dead up cat box. that didn't go to the retail store, you don't know. <laughs> If there, the cat is dead. There could be something crazy going on. I don't think that picture. I think that there was definitely Photoshop in that picture. Yeah. The kid's arm was like that, that was. Up. No, th the th it was a bad. Photoshop. It was a bad Photoshop. Yeah. But like knowing, like doing, like what are you, what doing? Are you doing? Like photography. What are you doing? Like photography things. They probably stitched like five different okay. takes from that photo shoot like onto each other yeah. like that's probably what they no, did that's probably exactly what happened and it's just sort of like a anyone with a brain would see like this is it's horrifically well, photoshopped not every no i wouldn't s no i mean i maybe i i have like people who don't know no no, no it's a little bit New it's one thing to be like ends. oh okay i didn't get the the lighting right or like this this touch-up looks bad like just to put a gaussian blur and a mask over it to check me out will the zipper big box beatboxer.com you just always need to grab the fucking uh, spotlight when we're having a serious conversation yep. about the disintegration the of, of reality this doesn't yeah. fucking matter this this the fucking company's shutting down it's a simulation i'm trying to jump start my new fucking career as a zipper beatboxer so i'd appreciate it yeah y'all could talk about your kate upton and shit I, guys I, I have to be honest with you i'm sad again for reasons that are personal but the problem is is that it gives me such an anti-social perspective on the world that i start to think about these things like you talking about reality and then will being like what if it isn't real and then seeing that that's a lot of how everything operates yeah. now is that people are like what if it just isn't real and so, they're not yeah. wrong so now yeah, you, I, get, and, now and you get serious now excuse me i'm trying <laughs> oh. to think about solutions for that is like hard as like being now because no there are no solutions yeah but i feel like uh there has mm. to be there has to be there, i get that there's not but like no, what no, if no, there's no, something no, like no, there no. are a billion geniuses <laughs> no no no, no. Listen, listen, my listen. name is bart fart b fart so so here's here's my here's my prediction for sammy just this always is, needs a stoplight this is my little prediction stoplight i believe that we will get to a point where hopefully we can have some kind of uh, intelligence that is not purely man it is man-made intelligence but it is an artificial intelligence will start to govern individuals and hopefully we'll get to a point where people can live kind of separately from each other and live in their own versions of reality and we don't have to really like inter mix and there doesn't have to be like a universal consensus because the universal consensus is is not one that we're going to find and ultimately at this point we've decided we've, we've come to the conclusion that it's nothing it's not anything we won't know and that's okay what's well. the timeline of this that you're thinking uh i'm gonna say the next 200 years okay yeah, I'm not. I'm not talking about next year or the next ten years. I'm talking okay. about in the next two hundred years. Because that is like such a crazy shift in the world that like has never happened. Think about it this way: 1776. 1776. What year was that? Um, 1776. Yeah. Two hundred thousand years ago. No, 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 no. 1776. What what yeah, happened? What year was that? The America what, what they signed the, the Declaration no, 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 of Independence. No, no, no. What year was that? And think about it: two hundred years later, right? The yeah. bicentennial, nineteen seventy-six. You know what was happening? Pink Floyd had an album out by then. Like, think about like, but we were we were using quills by gas yeah, yeah. lanterns. Two hundred years is a long time. And, and there were horses and buggies, and then we had yeah. Cadillacs. We two hundred years is not a long time but when it as it relates to like industrialization and modernity it's yeah. so much shit happens the last person that was alive in the 1700s died uh last year that's true yeah what kate, yeah. Middle kate middleton's <laughs> grandpa what no yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> what <laughs>
<laughs> Why are you laughing at For a second, that's I was the like, hardest girl I've laughed this whole podcast. For a second, I was like, what are you? That's not possible. And I was like, that's so not possible. And I was like, that's extra not possible. Is this real? And the fact that I went from like, what? To no. But it took me so long to. <laughs> the fact that I wasn't at the gate, like, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? It's insane to me. <laughs> took a second. I'm losing my mind. I'm glad you liked that one. <laughs> my own stupid <laughs> What? So um, funny. I'm a time traveler. What From are you talking about? From the past or the about? future? And you know, there's an alternate reality. That no, you're a time traveler. You're not an alternate reality. No, that's jumper. a that's a re that's a universe. Yeah, that's a multiversal traveler. He has a which I am a multiversal traveler. Right. But yes. you continue with your experience. Right. And then I'll touch on mine. Time and well, time traveler is kind of like a blanket term. No, it's not. It's actually very specific. No, time and space are Who very are different are concepts. Traveler? I'm a multiversal traveler, so do not try to co-opt my job. Thank you. So there's time and there's space. Multiversal and then travelers there's the always reality. love to claim multiverse. Oh, well, multiversal oh, travel. We get it. You like you you. There's multiple universes and you travel between them. Like they love to claim it's that shit. It's a lot like harder than, than your fake travelers. ass. Time travelers. Fun fact: they don't need a degree. You don't need a degree to be a time traveler. Yeah, you need so, a degree to be a multiversal traveler because so all of the quantum you, physics that you, you take, need. To, okay, you take what? Multiverse 101 and, and yep. bullshit like that? Yep. Multiverse and universe 101, like like uh, yeah. space-time 101. The fact that you even think space-time 101 is a thing just proves that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But then go ahead with your time travel. Go ahead. You can infer a spatial moment. And by inferring a spatial moment, you are defining Funny. the necessity for a, a temporal state. State. Did you so, have Dr. Rabafanash? In uh, there is actually a professor from Yale yeah. that talks like. So it's interesting because. I, I can't even do an impression accurately, but it's so funny, and I want to show you because there's a part where he's like, "So the, uh, the Twin Towers," and 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 I've been. Is that the one that you showed me? The one where he talks about the Twin Towers for a little bit. No, no, that's 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 Sapolsky. That's a famous one. Oh. Um, Sapolsky's the he's the evolutionary biologist. That's different. He's from Stanford. No, the guy from from Yale is funny. He's silly. He's a silly little goofball. But 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 the point is is that the the whole point of that little lecture is to because i find this interesting time and space right together will make up your say reality or to infer a spatial moment you are then saying that there has to be time because it's a thing that happens in succession right and so so time Don't and space are different than <laughs> than a reality or a universe so, like, so just just to say that time, time traveling is different than than, than universe jumping <laughs> Thank, thank you, Caroline. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so please continue, time traveler. <laughs> um, I actually am a multiverse traveler. I'm too. losing my mind. I used to be. I retired because it's just so complicated, and, <laughs> and it's just I, I miss the simple life. You know how anesthesiologists like kill themselves a lot. Yep, that's yeah. Or, my uncle is an anesthesiologist. Is he fine and well? Yeah, he's yep. doing just fine. You know, actually. Not just anesthesiologists, but a lot of um, dental assistants that use the the laughing gas or the ketamine or the whatever anesthetic they're using. The laughing gas? The, don't yeah, every anesthesiologist yeah. is the joker. No, but the, they, they, you can have the, a lot of them overdose um, in school. Oh, really? Not, not a huge. It's not a huge statistic, but but that is a, not overdose. What? Um, but you can you can die. Yeah, you can die. Yeah. But I my point was that I'm actually a multiverse traveler, and this joke isn't even that. I th literally, there's I was no just, joke. Just go it ahead. It wasn't a joke. This is the reality. Go ahead. What's in 1978? Yeah. In no, in 1982, Donald Trump was in middle school, and he got called um, Donald Chump. Whoa. And because of this, that's why he was so evil and really wanted to, to to like really he became greedy and was like, I need to be above everybody else and have all this monies so then he ran for president and um there's an alternate timeline i think because i actually had a conversation with the multiverse traveler about it another yeah. one um and, and oh i'm not finished oh sorry <laughs> and there's an alternate universe where his last name wasn't chump it was daniels and he and donald <laughs> daniels yes. you're saying his last name is chump no, he got called Donald Trump, and that's why he yeah, was so yeah, insecure. Yeah, you just said that his name wasn't Trump. It was Daniel. You're calling oh, Donald Trump Donald Trump. No, no, no. So you and, don't think and that Hillary it's... Clinton, uh, excuse me, Hillary Clinton <laughs> yeah. won the 2016 election, and it was actually worse off because 
she had uh, sex with Monroe Lewinsky or something. Monroe Lewinsky, yeah. And then um, <laughs> created a big controversy. Yeah. And um, if, if if fucking the baddest thing that she could have done was become president and then get head from like a, a, a White Lewinsky. House a White House assistant and have it come out and not get impeached. Have people be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck your husband. You totally deserve to 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 get eaten out by a, a much younger looking guy. And not get impeached because of it. Because we don't live in fucking, in, in Puritan uh, times where it doesn't matter if you cheat on your wife. So. No, but then she, um, she mm. married no. Monroe. She broke up with, what's his name, Bill, Bill your... Clinton? No, no, no. That was Belina. Belina, and, and who was the first man of the U.S. First and then gentleman. Now, oh, is that what it would be? Yeah. First lady, first gentleman. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, or first Mandy Who's Mandy? The, the Billion Billiard um, he, Yeah this So you're saying Gogus, that Donald Trump Gogus. became who he is Because they called him Donald Trump when he was younger Yes I it took Donald a toll Trump. on him We'll be right back Where's he going? Um Okay, I was thinking after if this if this didn't really work out all this uh, hypothetical nonsense stuff, um, it would be really profitable, Caroline. Now that Sammy's gone, because I don't really want him to do it, make it like a three person thing. Oh, I'm fucking leaving the both of you and doing my own thing. Oh, what were you saying? Um, what were you saying? You wanted to do something together. Yeah, that's cute. Like a um, trash valet service. Cause they, cause I was, do, I was, do, I was looking at the profit margins. Cause all we would really need is that like a, a van, a van, like a dump truck Dude of, size. Yeah. And um, on average, um, apartment tenants pay like thirty dollars. First of all, I don't know, like, I this is the only city I've ever lived where trash valet is like the norm. Like it was so fucking weird coming here and like every place had trash valet. I actually don't like it. I'd rather just like go and throw out the trash on myself. But and but there's not even access to like recycling a dumpster you have a trash va wait, 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 wait 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 trash valet is different because okay i don't know if austin has a sanitation department that like but like like okay when you're in a city i don't know if la has it either but new york new york has a sanitation department so the, the city and the state will pick up trash for you but you take out your own trash here in my building i take out my own trash no no they come they come by you put it in outside your building, of your door in your building they have a trash valet where they take it from your door they they take i but i take out my own trash yes yes okay but i a lot of the apartments that i toured out yeah. here had trash valet interesting so um yeah they come basically what if you don't know what trash valet is they come to your door and you leave like a trash bag in like a in a um like a trash can that they provide and they'll just come and take it at night and then so you don't have to which is like so like the convenience is you don't have to walk down the hall to to throw your trash away um <sighs> what the wait what the fuck i'm so Sammy. angry again i need to be in the woods i fixed it you probably don't even know who donald trump is did you just multi what is did you just try who is donald trump <sighs> is this like when you were talking about like the fake the fake names for the people that work here hmm? like the filbert whatever. wait donald yes. chump that's a good one i'm gonna write that shit down you said what <laughs> that was a nice yes and will <laughs> i'll be right back <laughs> what are you doing Thanks everyone for watching the Hypothetical Nonsense podcast. I actually wasn't feeling very well today, as most of you can tell. You guys can tell when I don't feel well. I don't. I, I used to be very good at like hiding my emotions and masking really well, and then just being funny anyway. And then I realized that that was a, a big disservice to my to my own health, and so I had to I had to, to start being more honest about how I feel. And quite frankly, when I feel bad, I, I just have to I just have to allow myself to feel bad. I don't necessarily have to be reactive, but I don't also have to be funny. I don't have to be you know likable or easy to talk to. It's a, something that I had to learn. Um, and it's really difficult because, you know, I've been feeling bad for the past few days. I think I need to go into the woods again, honestly. <sighs> uh, who is Will Mahoney? I just killed him. I didn't erase him from existence. Right. You actually were... You, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> you actually put your... Uh, your um, 
<laughs> your jacket around my mouth, not my neck. And it wasn't a long enough period of time for m- <laughs> for you to stop me from breathing. So I kind of just pretended to die on the ground over here. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. I'm so done. Yeah. Oh. oh shit! I can't. I have my microphone. For the audio listeners, Sammy has a yes, a, has a ferret in his hand, and Will is being a pussy. Don't. You think I'm scared of that shit? I think I'm scared of you. I think I'm fucking scared of you. Sammy. Um, for the audio listeners, the boys are doing physical comedy again. Oh, why can't I, well, I had a dream about my jacket. Cause what if I take my jacket off? You think it's weird, crew? There's a billion people back there. There's a billion people back there. No. Cause, yeah, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying it is, but like j- th- hypothetically, yeah, wouldn't it be interesting yeah, like, yeah, if you have an experience yeah, like that where if you go yeah, into yeah, a party, you'd want to like yeah, keep yeah, your clothing on? Yeah, but go um, No. But, oh, oh, sorry. Hello, my name is Will. I'm so handsome as well. Okay, and well, I'm an awesome guy. Bad. I'm an awesome guy. Ugh. And honestly, I just have a kind and fearless spirit. Well, now, uh, now I now I I'm just so loving and caring and I care, about, I care about people who I don't even really know. I just, I'm so personable okay, and I get I'm it. still Caroline. I get it. We'll, we'll, at, we'll wrap things up here in a second. At the heart of all of this, I just know that the human soul prevails. Oops. Did I mention I'm Will, by the way? <laughs> and I'm and I'm Sammy. <laughs> I'm done. Oh, are we can done? I, can I have my sip? Wait, let me wrap these. Okay, I'll just do it. I'll Thanks, just... everyone, for watching the Hypothetical Nonsense podcast. No, hold on. I have one more point I want to make, and that's... I was finishing up my Trash Valley point. I don't want to leave that off and forget about it, unless you want to talk about it next episode. But my point was that... Each tenant pays like thirty dollars a month. Actually, I don't want to give you my. Actually, fuck it. Start a don't trash give them company. your idea. That no, it's it. Nobody's gonna actually fucking do it, dude. Except me, because I'm gonna do it. It's it's an initial investment. All you have to do is go pick up trash, right? Each tenant pays around thirty dollars a month, um, for on average for a uh, trash valet company, and um. There's around on average 150 units in like a medium sized apartment complex. And um, what's that number? Hold on. Let me, let me, you said, let me, wait, how many people? Uh, um, 150 units, right? Um, okay. For Trash Valley. That's $4,500 a month. And wow. $4,500 a month. And um, for one apartment complex. Yeah. And it would only take, I crunched numbers about an hour and a half. To get all, hit all the, to hit all the hit place, because you just walk, you, you you walk around with a wheelbarrow or whatever. What is it called? A, a wheelbarrow, and then you just pick up the trash bags and you put them, you put them in the wheelbarrow, and you keep walking around. It takes around twenty minutes per floor, about I'd say, to just walk around and pick up the trash. You'd also need a second person for recycling, so this would likely be like a two person venture. Um, Only and two people. I could, you, you could make it you work. You could squeeze in like maybe two extra sets of hands. You could, but then you're splitting more money. But you're getting your the efficiency of it all. The you efficiency. Could hit, you could hit a couple more apartment complexes if you got like a four or five man team. This is true. This is true. But also imagining this. Okay, in this scenario, let's say it's a two person team, right? Okay. Um, you could still if it takes an hour and a half to to hit one um, apartment complex and um, maybe another thirty minutes to to load up and and travel to the next apartment complex um if you hit three apartment complexes in a night um that's that would only take about six hours and um split between two people you're making like seven thousand dollars a month which that is good but i don't know if only two people can hit all those in six hours you think it would take longer than two hours to to walk around and pick up trash from a, a one single apartment complex? That's a lot of units. 150 units? How That's long do you think? But but all you're doing is walking by. You could do it at a walking pace. You don't even have to stop. But walk by, pick up a, a trash bag, put it this in. This is best case scenario. But imagine as you're walking, like some like chuckle fuck is like, hey, how you doing? Oh, you're one of the trash I don't, people. So how was your day? I don't think. Oh, awesome. I don't That's think. Cool. I don't think. In, I don't think including p- 
people talk it that's no, like a no, negligible that, that's just one <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm that's not just... gonna say that. I'm, that's just that is just one factor okay that's just uh, yes these are outliers but you have to consider the human effect there could be traffic there could be oh that's a that's a baby cow getting in love that's a cow you also have to I keep, thought it was a donkey you also have to keep in mind when people don't do the trash ballet correctly, you have that card where it's like you got to write it down like, oh, no, you should keep it in the bin. Yeah. You should put you should like don't put it on the tr on the on the you on have the them in your pocket. You take it out. It takes 10 seconds, it takes 10 seconds to write. And that, that happens maybe five times. I had like two or three minutes to that adds like two or three minutes. So I don't I really don't think it's that. <clears throat> we should, what we should do is we should time it. We should walk around an apartment complex and just like pretend to like whoo. Yeah, We're, yeah, yeah. And, then, and, and taking into account, well, we there would be one of us for trash, one of one us for of recycling, recycling, and just walking by, yeah, and, and imagining some of them have, maybe have two or three trash bags. Guys, yeah. Guys, what are we doing? Well, if you oh, were listening, it's a podcast. you know, yeah. So, can we wrap up the podcast? Why? We're having a conversation. Why do you want to wrap? Um, okay. Well, oh. Bye, Caroline. Well, you could be a part of the conversation. Yeah. So, so we yeah, yeah, yeah. so we put a concerted effort into being interested in the things you want to be interested in, and then when we have a conversation, you walk out. That's rich. That really is rich. We're like, yes, yes, please talk about the speech therapies yeah. and, the, and the intelligence and how, how big people's brains are. I tried. We talk about something that we want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Just walk just, out on just us. Just walks away. Like everybody else. Where's she even going? She's probably going to eat lunch right now. She's probably going to eat some freaking lunch. Can anyone, we, have, we were slotted till 1 p.m. Can anyone hear me with this cup over the microphone? <laughs> I can kind of hear you. Okay. Is it, I, but it's like, it's kind of funny. It's kind of goofy. <laughs> well, it's the pop filter. <laughs> it's it's the like... For the plow flips. It's the like phone. It's like actually... <laughs> it sounds like a phone. Yeah, kind of. That's awesome. So... Yeah, just what would this company be called? Do you have like a name or something? Because you might need a third person for branding. You can't yeah, just have yeah. two people. No, no, we would need an LLC. And I think that like I, I've I have an LLC. It's not that difficult to open an LLC. All we would sure. need is like we could pay someone to make a logo. We would need like maybe a website. And at first, the first couple months, we might in order to get because there's a lot of comp competition out yeah. there. Yeah, we might need to sell a little cheaper like offer our services for maybe $25 a month instead of 30 because that uh the average about 30 35 dollars a month so that would but eventually the the thing is like we would be probably the hours are good we'd be probably working six to eight hours so, a day so i'm in this yeah are you not a part of this sure fuck it cool cool yeah fuck it yeah um so we but the thing is we could sleep we'd have all day the thing is like notice how trash valet usually um they operate universally sunday through thursday yeah and they come yeah. at night right that's because notice how friday and saturday night they have off they're getting lit. That's party time. That's yeah. getting lit party time. And That's they don't time. they only come at night, right? So you'd probably be working five PM to mm, five PM to midnight. Yeah. yeah. I think um, midnight, yeah. And that's that's probably seven hours. That's five PM to midnight, and you have you'd have all you could sleep in, you'd have all day to just sure. to just hang out and and that's also that's just the first year. Then we hire new employees, right? Uh huh. And pay them a base salary, and we're making money off a of day money. Your mic is like kind of fucked up. Like they can't, like, it's like really muffled. I, I would use this mic. Oh well, where's the? the we, I don't know where it went. We need the poop filter. Yeah, where's the? Poop? Where did the poop filter go? Oh. I just I use that one. Sorry, Caitlin. What'd you say? I'm not even here. I pretend like I never was even here. What? Okay. <laughs> Bye, Caroline. Um, the goal is to expand the company, the company to where we're not the ones picking up the trash. We're hiring people to pick up the trash and making and paying them a decent salary, like, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year to, to pick up trash. But then we're actually making whatever we, we would, whatever we have the deal with the apartment complex. We're making the excess off of that. We don't have to do the work. Well, are we generating that revenue? Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs>
Are we generating that revenue on seven thousand dollars a month? Like this is well, the, 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 the you're talking about expansion. Talking about expansion, we 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 start signing more deals with more apartment complexes. Yeah, you know, generating more revenue and then having um, hiring more employees so that we would be, uh, essentially slowly just take a step back and back off and then it would be a self-running business and we just have to keep up on the deal you know we'd be in more in the marketing side of like you know trying to figure out new apartments to have deals with yeah um and uh, essentially we would also just need an a uh, uh i'm guessing an agreement with the dump yeah right? we, we i was just gonna say we need like some sort of permit with like the city or the state yeah. to like be it like license us to like okay you guys are like trash sanitation because I yeah. feel like like we might need like a trash sanitation license or something but no yeah. you don't think no you think it, we could just we could just free ball it oh, oh you check he's checked his watch oh he, he has an apple he got a text oh what did it say oh wow that's so sweet he, he checked his uh so we'd have to cut a deal with the like you said we'd have to cut a deal with the apartment complexes yeah, to yeah, like yeah because we'd have to be the like the trash valet yeah. so if like trash co or like ike's trash yeah he's yeah, like yeah. giving them i don't know like i'm just throwing out numbers like for like two hundred thousand dollars a year you guys are gonna like give us that money we'll, we'll pick up your trash yeah maybe we slash that in half yeah like, yeah we yeah. work like at like just like but the, the thing is i don't even think the apartment complex is eating any of the cost you think it's the residents it's because because i pay you know 30 dollars a month for trash valet which i have to do like in in the agreement so that's probably money that's going direct i don't think the apartment complex is really taking much if any of that cost i think that's just you know they're providing that service yeah. and they're making their tenants pay for that service the so valet just like approaches the apartment complex like y'all yeah, yeah. need trash valet and they're like yeah fuck it yeah fuck it you won't have to pay anything the, t the tenants will pay something it's a good it's a good business model they'd have to take like a little bit off the top no i don't i don't know because it it benefits the apartment complex in the sense that like um it makes it cleaner it I feels think. more regal like yeah when you, when yeah you have, yeah like yeah. trash valet it's like what trash what the f yeah oh, oh yeah i put like dry erase red marker on it to make it like the joke was going to be that i had sex with donald trump and then it made him like not want to be evil oh, anymore i didn't get that you know i because it didn't show up and i looked on camera and i was like <laughs> this did not show up at i all. thought you just killed him yeah well that also worked i guess i didn't want i didn't kill him uh, oh okay so the initial investment, we this good? is this is if assuming hypothetical nonsense and best friends today doesn't work out. This is my plan, okay. and if you want to be in on this, you can. The initial investment would be um, probably 150 plastic trash cans each, um, or maybe 300 or trash cans because sure. each um, trash valet company has their own trash cans that they give you and put their logo on it. That would probably cost um around a few thousand dollars three three to five thousand dollars mm -hmm. I, I, I crunch the numbers it would also um we would also need a dump truck which um an actual dump truck fifty thousand dollars which is kind of ridiculous um unless we wanted to you know lease it if or, we if we do a u-haul get those twenty dollar u-hauls i was thinking u-hauls but I think that it would just it, they would probably charge us if if there was some spillage or if someone didn't double bag something it would it would get gross in the back of a U-Haul. But then we we'd have like our little like trash bins that we just like put them in like to like collect all the spillages. Like, so we put I feel like our trash bins in the back of U-Haul, get rid of the wheels or something so it's not like rolling around or something. Get like a couple U-Hauls. That's like yeah. twenty dollars per U-Haul. Yeah, but then. Uh, Cause then we save like get a few. U a Maybe if we get like ten U hauls, that's way less than fifty thousand dollars. But then that takes more time because we'd have to. Tr there's if there's only two of us, then we need to tr like if drive ten U hauls, we can only move two at a time. Um, so it might be worth. And I don't know how much it would be to lease a dump truck, but if our profit margins are still higher, eventually we can invest in our own dump truck. Yeah, I think to start we'd have yeah. to like kind of be a little. A little, a little like, scrappy. Yeah, a little scrappy with yeah. it. I feel like that would be our best option. It would. And also, um, I was looking, and there are like dump truck, like, or like dump truck, like trailers that you can attach to the back of your car mm. that um, you can just lug around that 
can carry a lot of trash those are only about ten thousand dollars so this would be like a twelve to fifteen thousand dollar investment which we would probably be eating for the first maybe three or four months yeah. but this is also like a three or four year plan because the the ceiling is really high if we keep adding apartment complexes and hiring new people with contracts you know each apartment complex we'd probably be making um with the workers that are that are doing it um we'd probably be making like 20 or thirty thousand dollars a year off of each apartment complex that um that we sign a sign a deal with um and that's not to mention if, if there are apartment complexes that have 200 or 300 units you know um so I think that it's it's definitely it's not the it would be a rocky start you know we'd be lugging a lot of trash that first year we'd be um being scrappy we'd have we'd probably have to um eat some costs but it you know it's an investment as any investment we could even like expand to like hotels like pick up their trash oh. like as the maids are put collecting the trash we come in like with all the trash bags like we'll take these to the dump for you yeah yeah like, we yeah go to hotels yeah, yeah hotels we could even do airbnbs we could do airbnbs yeah yeah that trash would be cool. ballet for airbnbs um wow okay yeah so i quit that's right well that doesn't i quit i would say wait on that I'd i quit say. and i'm starting a trash valley company so i would say wait. thank you for empowering me and um you know you can join along if you want but um, thank you for listening to the Hypothetical Nonsense Podcast. This will be my personal last episode. Nope. Because I'm um, starting a trash ballet business. Thank I you, would. Everybody. Hey there, Will. I oh, would say shit. wait. I would say wait on that. Wait on it. Um. Huh. Fuck y'all. If there. Can I just get like two people? Free Palestine. Can I get like two people who want to be on the show someone who would be able to replace will and caroline because i'm i'm in fact not quitting and i would like to continue with something like this and i feel like the two of them have just kind of checked out so anybody or if it's just me that's okay i would just prefer to like have some people to bounce off of Anybody in this 20,000 person crew, I would appreciate if any of you would just step up. I see you guys behind the camera. Hello? Oh, everybody's leaving. Um, yeah, all right. Who's that? Who's in? The, who's that behind the fucking computer, flipping me off? Nobody believed in me. My teachers didn't believe in me. My parents didn't believe in me. Hell, even my own podcast host with me as well didn't believe in me. But I can make my own show by myself, and it could be called Sammy Says. Yeah, flip me off. That's fine. Sammy says. Even if you are met with hate, love will prevail. I'm going to take the high road. Yep, I'm going to take the high road. Love all you guys. Even if you guys don't want to see me succeed. Because success is measured not with one point, but several. Oh, sorry. I'm just, just one second. Even even if there are days, there still must be night. Because once you get back from night, hell, I guess there's another day. And if you have another day, just understand that you're blessed with the opportunity to be able to get out into the world and create Sammy Swims signing off can you freeze frame is that possible I'll give I'll give you some time if if it's not possible I'll just freeze myself oh I thought I was I thought I was actually okay
out of here, buddy. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Sloppy, like 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 Welcome back to the Hypothetical Nonsense Podcast. I want to talk about this new season of Love is Blind. Oh! I just want to talk about that for a second. Okay, wait. Oh, is this one fucked up too? No. Okay, let's talk about Matthew, because I really need to talk about this guy. Matthew. I don't think I've ever seen myself represented. Do not claim yourself as Matthew. Don't even do that to there's yourself. A little, there's a little bit where I was just like... It, no, no, here's the thing. I'm not, like, not self-aware in the way that he is, but if I were to go onto a dating show, like, I don't know if you've ever seen that episode of um, uh, Doctor Who, where they, like, just, like, they zap you into a, a dating show or, like, yeah, into yeah. a reality that show. Was, I think that was the ninth Doctor. Yeah. But, no, no, okay. But if I were to be, like, zapped onto a dating show, mm -hmm. the way that he was behaving where he's like, I'm done, like, that would be me. If I had, like, if I had... No filter if it wasn't about like winning the show or like get I just had to be like fully like I'm here to find a husband and like it's it's not about the show, it's just about getting what I want. I'd totally be like, Yeah, this is not working. But he was playing he yeah, was that playing part, them. Okay, that part was fucking crazy. I'm not claiming that. I, I the, was I was okay with the way he was acting with in regards to the show. Like, keep to myself. Yeah. I'm just trying to find a wife. I don't care about like making no, friends. No, what he did with Amber. But and and eighty, that was crazy. He said the exact same shit to two girls. But I love, I love how he like was, like really expertly gaslighting AD. And like, I know that's what I said, and I said it this way, but I did <laughs> not say this to you. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. But here's what I didn't say. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I would one hundred percent do that shit. Like, if I were really playing a game, I would play it better than he did. What, no, what he you... played it. He played it expertly because. She still ended up going on two dates with him after the show. I, I, oh, I, I oh not, shit. I haven't there yet. My fault. I um, AD? I made that up. I just, <gasps> no! Oh, I thank just, goodness, because I didn't like Clay. I just made that up. I don't like Clay. Oh, my God, wait. That brings me so much joy. I haven't gotten there yet. You, <coughs> I'm sorry. Clay, for all his faults. I didn't mind. No, no, no. He didn't. I didn't. I just. I didn't like the conversation that he had when he found out that she was with Matthew. Otherwise, oh yeah, that super hurt his ego. That was really like that upsetting to watch. Him. But other than that, like he was trying his best. I really I, think I he was. Like, I feel like he was, and <coughs> through, like I guess you haven't seen the reunion, but no. Even for like all of the weird things that he said and all of the weird ways he engaged with the relationship, he was yeah. still able to. Yeah. He had a weird level of self-awareness. He yeah. was like, I know there's... Jesus. He's like, I know there's something wrong with me. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I yeah. also kind of know what it is. He but knew also about his dad, I think, like, understanding how that affected him, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, His mom was really interesting, too. Both of their parents were really interesting. It was nice to see, like, what felt like the most engaged parents was clay's mom and ad's mom and then maybe i forget her name um but she went with a boy from jersey her father boy from jersey yeah the blonde guy with the blue eyes jimmy or not jimmy uh johnny johnny oh amy and or her name's amy right amy and johnny yeah the only couple that got married <laughs> that makes sense 
that totally makes sense but they were like the quickest to get married i was like just what either either it really was a great connection or you know it's gonna be it's the the other shoe will drop soon well the perception of it being quick was the fact that they had no issues so they weren't really shown as much it was much. probably the editing there was I, no drama with them they yeah. never had any sort of conflict they never yeah. had like a big conversation the only conversation they had was like centered around birth control which which yeah. seemed to be like a nothing conversation because they were both like yeah we're not gonna force you to like go on birth control or anything and yeah. it was like oh okay it's cool i, I was what's a little the, what's the problem i was a little bit like is he not gonna wear a condom and for him at first i thought it was just like he was a guy that didn't like wearing condoms and i was like oh this guy really but i but think he was just he was just anxious yeah, to have he a would, kid it he wasn't just even the fact like, that he wanted he didn't want to wear condoms he, he doesn't want to have a baby no baby and that's so totally oh all the lights are going out that's like totally fine i thought that was really cool i also really loved his sisters i was like so happy to see his his sisters just being like oh we like her it was that was really they nice. had such funny like banter yeah not i don't want to say it wasn't funny it was just interesting to see another family like what they find funny yeah like family humor yeah it was very much family humor like yeah. none of them were making any jokes yeah it was just a lot of observational things that yeah. made people laugh yeah which was interesting to me i'm so glad that you know like the name that his mom wanted to yeah and then that made everyone go into like an uproarious laughter yeah it's like oh, okay it everyone's cute. just having a good time and, and being fun and silly and laura 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 and Jeremy. Laura, oh, I like Laura because she was just stirring shit up, but like in a reasonable way where she wasn't like being like, you know what? He said that he fucking liked that he loved <clears throat> Chelsea. So get fucked, Jessica. No, she, she went up to so Jess good. and she was like, by the way, like you're done. I don't want to. She, she was like, I don't want to like, it's not my place to tell you, but you should just know like it's not you, happening. And I was like, good for her. You're done. Good for her. There's no reason to even talk to him. Just it's over. I loved her. You're done. That. And then she went to, and talked to him, which was interesting. But oh. Oh. is this? Oh, we're getting the light. I think we're getting. Oh, the light. we're getting the wrap. Okay. Yeah, we're getting the light. Okay. Um, yeah, everyone watch Love Is Blind. Yeah. It's a good show. I think it's it's good like reality TV. And uh, yeah, Sammy says signing off. No way you guys are still recording. Is it it's still recording or am I just here just no, it's not. None of the lights are on. None of the lights of the cameras are on. <laughs>